Hi and welcome back. In this video we're going to be checking out another state park. So we're on that quest to visit or camp at every state park in the state of Minnesota. We're down here by Minneapolis. We've seen a lot of the state parks close by, a lot of the parks up on the North Shore. So it's time to start venturing out and getting some of these out state parks. Uh, we're going to be going to Lake Carlos and that's about two hours north and west of the cities. It's kind of in the center of the state up here. Um, but on the way, we're actually going to stop at Lake Maria State Park by Monticello. Can't camp there, they have hiking and different activities, but we're going to stop, uh, check out some trails so we can mark that one as visited. So we're going to get finished packing up and head out. Yeah, don't worry, you're coming. All right, before we head out, I want to show you one more gadget that I just bought. We like to take the kayaks with whenever we can, but they're kind of a pain in the butt to get fastened down in the truck. So I got these drop-in hooks. They're not that expensive and they're super easy to install on the top of the bed of the truck. These little clips pop in and out. Uh, it's just a really easy and quick way to fasten down the kayaks. Otherwise, you have to use these hooks in the bottom of the bed of the truck. Those are kind of a pain. All right, so we are just about hooked up. Uh, time to head out. Navigate to Lake Maria State Park. Okay, since this is just a short stopover, I think we'll stick to a short hike. We're gonna do this Jorkland Trail. It's like about a two mile loop. And hey, it looks like they allow horses on the trail. All right, stand corrected. They do allow backpack camping, but no RV camping. This is the trail headed here. We'll go see if that's open. It's not looking like it though. Nope, it actually is. So here would be kind of a gathering place for a post hike lunch, something like that. They do have some nature displays, random information, bathrooms. And a cool wood burning stove. Have a nice little place. Okay, that was a quick peek of Lake Maria State Park. Some cool hiking. The mosquitoes, oh, a lot of mosquitoes. Bring a lot of bug spray if you come. Otherwise, our next stop is going to be in a small town called Melrose, about 30 minutes away. We're going to stop and get a couple treats for camping. So one of the things we like to do on the way to our destination is find a local meat shop and you know get some brats and burgers and beef sticks and we're in the little town of Melrose and we found a place called Bruder's Butchers so we're gonna go see what they have. Just pulled in and the first thing we're gonna do is fill up our onboard water tank our site has electricity but no sewer and no water tank in our imagined holds 50 gallons we'll fill it all the way up should get us through for three nights 
they get a couple of short showers in and have enough water for everything else. Otherwise, they have a decent dump station here. They got fresh water on this side, and then the sewer dump is over on that side. We're coming up on a Friday, so it's starting to get a little busy with people filling up their tanks. Um, then we'll get set up and go check out our site. Give you a tour of our site here which is 127e a lot of things to like about this site a couple negatives but starting out our camper is about 29 feet long plenty of room for a camper and our truck so the pad is nice and long i like that and super level which is kind of rare for a state park we didn't have to do any leveling side to side and hardly anything front to back the site itself is really long and it's also really wide. The only awkward thing is you got this site, which is set at a perpendicular angle to our site. So they're hanging out area and ours kind of right next to each other without a buffer. That's not that big of a deal, but nice place to set up our gazebo with awesome views overlooking the lake. Only con is because we're in a loop that's close to the water and that's where all the activity is, just get a lot of traffic coming through our site. You know, a lot of families come to this campground because of the lake activities, so a lot of kids. Kids aren't known for their campground etiquette, so we just had a lot of traffic coming through the last couple of days. Even some adults walk through, it's kind of weird. But overall, really nice site, very happy with it. This is our Gazelle portable gazebo. In a previous video, I mentioned that I might be getting some windscreens that you can attach on the side you can get a three pack for sixty dollars and while we already love our gazebo these make us like it even more so obviously they're for wind protection and they've come in really handy because like this morning there was a breeze coming right off the lake and this really helped stop that and with the portable fire pit i bet the temperature in here was about 15 degrees warmer than it was outside but another thing we really like they're really good for privacy because we had a group they're gone now this is a different camper but we had a group out here this whole weekend and it was like two or three families all gathering here with this wind panel in place totally blocked out the view so these wind panels sixty dollars for three were a great addition another thing i like to bring with is a jug for fresh water for scenarios like this so we're at the state park that has electric only no water the Grand Designs tank, the fresh water tank holds 52 gallons, but the gray tank holds 82 gallons. So we could run into a situation where we're out of fresh water, but there's still room in the gray tank. So there is a water spigot two sites down. It's gonna fill up the tank and I don't know, it could be enough to get one more shower. Oh. We'll start with the check-in center, the front office. This is where you obviously check in. You can get firewood here. They have a little store with a variety of different camping items, shirts, t-shirts, that kind of thing. Here's the entrance to the lower campground. Starting off, you got your campground host right here. And all these sites are electric. And they're good size sites. I wouldn't say there's a lot of privacy in this loop. There are some trees. Um, what's nice is even on this outer stretch right here, pretty much no matter where you are, you are gonna get a view of the lake. Now keep in mind, we're walking through on a Sunday afternoon. So a lot of people have packed up and are heading out after their weekend trip. We were here yesterday and this place was about 100% full. And I think it's going to fill up again later tonight. It's one of the busier state parks in Minnesota. So I think the reason so many people like this park is how it's set up. It's kind of unique. 
So you have all the campsites on the inner part of the campground here, but then around the lake, this is all open space. And then you got all these posts where you can tie up your boat. So you can keep your boat tied up during your whole trip, and then you just got a short walk right over to your campsite. In fact, if you bring kayaks, you can drag your kayak right from your site, right into the water. And then right next to the campground is where you have your boat landing, several docks, and a place to rent canoes and kayaks. Theater. Although we've been camping at state parks for about 12 years, I have yet to see an activity at one of these things. I don't know, maybe it's just bad timing. The lower campground has two bathroom shower buildings on each end of the campground. Pop in, show you what these look like. Yeah, that's kind of your basics. You got some toilets, a couple sinks, and this building has three showers. And the building is pretty well maintained and everything is pretty clean. We're in the upper campground now and they do have a couple loops of electric sites, but if you want some really nice big private sites, this first uh, stretch here is not electric, but check out some of these sites. I mean, this is, long and deep pad tons of room and you can't even see the person next to you these are some really nice sights Also in the upper campground is where they have the camper cabins. Looks like they have four of them. And they do have a section of outhouses in the middle. But these are a really nice option. You know, if you don't have all the camping gear, you can rent these out and they have electricity, they have heat, uh, no water, no air conditioning, you know, but your basics, fire pit, picnic table. It's a really nice option. This is the lower campground where we're at. So we just took this path down here, went by the group camping area. Now we're at the group center. We're gonna take this little hike around here, big loop, come back down. This would be the group camping area. Off in the distance, you can see they have some bald toilets. That's an old historical water tower. Uh, this is where you'd come, tent camping only. There's no electricity, no water, all uh, for tents only. So a lot of area for that, a couple different picnic areas, a bunch of different fire pits. They got this warming shelter, I guess you'd call it. And then they do have a building down here. It's locked right now. This looks like it could be the shower building. I hope you enjoyed this video of Lake Carlos. It's a great state park and we really enjoyed our time there. Stay tuned, coming up we got some fun videos to share. We just got back from a trip to Yellowstone, saw some amazing sights, got to see some wildlife up close and personal, and even had a couple RV issues that we'll share with you. Until then, happy camping.